Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Tommy, it uh, looks like another Thanksgiving week is coming to a close, right? That's right, and we have a lot, lot to be thankful for. I think we, we certainly do. I mean, even in spite of some of the disturbing things that are happening in the news, we have a lot to be thankful for. Yeah. But some of the things that have been happening that are disturbing are things like Prime Minister Wilson devaluating the pound. That's, that's as, that is terrible. That's terrible. The, uh, <laughs> the Negro athletes boycotting the Summer Olympic Games. That that's, isn't good. That's terrible, too. No, and the possibility of war with Turkey. That doesn't surprise me, though. That's one thing, being on the political aspect, is I watched politics very closely. I've been expecting that for years. I know you that. You mean? That was coming up for years and years, because I, I know what's happening. Oh, come on. Now, you, you mean to tell me you knew all about this? Sure. Every, every, sure, every Thanksgiving, I've been expecting those turkeys to fight back. <laughs> It's the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour with guest stars Nancy Ames, Janice Ian, ba -ba. Pat Paulson, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. special guest star Jimmy Durante, the Jimmy Joy Singers, the Louis Vuitton Dancers, and Nelson Riddle and his orchestra. If you could put Terryton's charcoal filter on the end of your cigarette, if um, you could put Terryton's charcoal filter on your cigarette, well, anyway, if you could put Terryton's charcoal filter on your cigarette, you'd have a better tasting cigarette. Of course, we can't guarantee it'd smoke as smooth as a Terryton. To begin with, no other cigarette has Terryton tobacco. And then that tobacco is smoothed by the charcoal filter to make it taste even milder. Better face it, if you want your cigarette to smoke as smooth as a Terryton, it'll just have to be a Terryton. A new Terryton 100 with the charcoal filter. Now, isn't that better? From Television City in Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen, meet the Smothers Brothers. Thank you very much and welcome to the show. Tonight we'd like to start off with a musical number to illustrate the damage that could be done by gossips. You know, the point, um, the fact is we're gonna sing a song to show this point, illustrate this point, and the song is Old MacDonald Had a Farm. E-I-E-I-O. That's, <laughs> that's very clever. It's very clever, but not now. I don't know wh whether you're aware of it or not, but the truth of the matter is that Old MacDonald had only a chicken farm. That's right. Really, I, I, it was, there were large chickens, but it was a small farm. And all that long list of animals, well, that wasn't true at all. You know, it was something that the gossips made up, and it almost ruined Old MacDonald. That's the truth. Okay, Tommy, let's get in character and we'll do the song, all right? Okay. <laughs> Did you hear what old McDonald had on his farm? E-I-E-I-O. Well, on his farm, he had some ducks. E-I-E-I-O. With quack, quack here and a quack, quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack, no, quack. you don't seem to understand. See, I just said... I got a chick chick here and a chick chick there. Here a chick, there a chick. All I got are chickens. And you and you said, my brother said he had a quack quack here and a quack quack there when all it was, I had a Can I continue? Chick. Yeah, well, I just want to make a finished. Are you, no quack quack, just Thank a you. chick. Glad you're finished. Chick. Old MacDonald had a farm. Here his story grow. Did you hear what Old MacDonald has on his farm? E-I-E-I-O. -E well, on his farm, he has some cows. E-I-E-S-O. With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. And a quack-quack here, quack-quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack-quack. No, a chick-chick here, a chick-chick there. Here a chicken, there a chick. Oh, you chicken. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Did you hear old MacDonald and lies his farm? E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm, he had some beans. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there and a here and an oink there and an oink everywhere an oink oink. Here and a moo moo there, here a moo there, moo everywhere moo moo. Quack quack here, quack 
quack there, here quack there, quack everywhere. Just quack, quack. A chick chick here and a chicken there, here a chicken there, crummy chicken. Old McDonald had a farm, B I E I O. Old MacDonald got for his farm, E I E I O. Where is he getting all that dough? I will never know. Tractor here, a seed machine, the kind that runs on gasoline. An oink oink here, an oink oink there, here an oink there, an oink everywhere, an oink oink. A moo moo here, and a moo moo there, here a moo moo everywhere, moo moo. Quack quack here, quack quack there, here quack there, quack everywhere. Just quack, a quack, quack. chicken here, a chicken there, here a chick there. All I got is chicken. Old MacDonald had a farm, e i e i o. I had some chicken. Shut up. Then one day a stranger came to town. Uh, hey, tell me, uh, do you know where the McDonald farm is located? You can't miss it. It's the biggest in the territory. Keep right. 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 He's got a tractor here. here. A seed machine. There. The kind that runs on gasoline. There's an oink oink here, an oink oink there. Here an oink there, an oink everywhere an oink oink. A moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo there, a moo everywhere a moo moo. Hey, quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack there, quack no, everywhere quack quack. Just a chicken here and a chicken there. Oh, I got a chick, chick, chick. Oh, I got a, a chicken. Just a minute. Hold it, hold it. What's going on here? Are you Mr. Old McDonald or are you? He is. He's Old McDonald. He's Old McDonald. Yes, sir. I'm Old McDonald. That's right. I'm... Just a second. <laughs> Hold your tongue. I asked the questions here. I happen to be with the income tax department. Yes. There seems to be a little discrepancy here. <laughs> In your income tax return. You just declared a chick chick there and a chick chick over there. Yeah, and chick. here a chick, there a chick everywhere, a chick chick. All I got are chickens. See yeah, there? that's not the way I heard it. According to my informationist, who shall remain nameless, you got a tractor here, a seed machine, the kind that runs on gasoline, a night going here, a night going there, here a night there, a night everywhere, a night going here a dog. There's a moon. Here a moon, there a moon, everywhere a moon, moon. Back, 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 back. He won't change a story. <laughs> well, you can quack quack and moo moo and oink oink all you want, because I know in my heart that all I got are chickens. All I, all I chick chick here with chick there. You come along saying that, you, that I got a moo moo. Just a minute. You, you, uh, uh, ask the crummy chickens. You got some crummy chickens. <laughs> you, that's all I've got is chickens. Well, wait. Also, you also got an oink oink. Maybe the chicken goes oink oink, but uh, <laughs> there's no oink oink. No, oink. you said before you had an oink oink and a moo moo. <laughs> McDonald, you're coming with me, and I warn you, anything those crummy chickens say can be held against you. Come on. Oh, oh my God. God. Come on. Had a couple of crummy chickens. Yeah, you got a couple of <laughs> I gotta thank you. It's really great to have you back here on the it show. It certainly is good to be back with you, Dickie. How, thank you very how, much. How about me? I don't know about you, kid. <laughs> Are you glad to be back, too? Yeah, I'm really glad to be back. It's nice to be back with you. Well, then you. we're all glad to be back together, not right? Not at all. Now that we got that out of the way, what's the next order on the agenda? Well, <laughs> we're going to present an extremely talented and very amazing young lady named Janice Ian. Now, she's going to sing her own composition, it's a beautiful song, Society's Child. Society. Clean and shining black as night 
Secret collector, may I? I'm picking up your old secret deodorant spray. I love secret. But, madam, this is new secret. Has lots more protective ingredients for lots more protection. Sounds good. Well, of course. Why get a little protection when you can get a lot? New secret has lots more protective ingredients. Try some. I don't need this toothpaste anymore. What are you doing? I thought you said he had a good checkup. Only I drink carry, Daddy. And you want to give up a crest for what? For this. New mint flavor crest joins regular crest, both with fluoride, the most effective cavity fighter ever put in a toothpaste. Have checkups, watch treats, and brush after eating with crest. You know, I like the way that crest tastes. I'll get you your crest too, dear. Probably no government program has been under such sharp criticism as the administration's war on poverty. Some have called it wasteful and unnecessary, while others have claimed that this doesn't go far enough. Now, tonight, the Smothers Poll would like to probe into this matter by asking several American citizens how they feel about the poverty program. For our first interview, we would like to go to the Haight-Ashbury District in San Francisco and talk to Miss Goldie Keefe. Hello, Goldie. Oh, my plant's talking to me. Oh, far out. Well, what's it like? I mean, like being no, a plant wait is a, a lot different than being a Wait person. a minute, I'm not I a mean, plant. Do you... I'm not a plant. I'm Dick Smothers. I'm with the Smothers Pole. Oh, man, you're putting me on. Oh, wow. I've been trying to communicate with this plant for a week now, you know, so I could become it and dig its trip and everything, and we could have a relationship, man. Oh, you want a relationship wow. with a plant? <laughs> oh, yeah, man, a 
It's groovy. I mean, you can have a relationship with anything on this earth that lives and breathes, man. Is, oh. is that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, you sit in an empty room, you know, with a cantaloupe for a few hours. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man, you can dig how small your problems are, you know, compared to his. Or hers. <laughs> I can't really tell yet, you know? <laughs> well, Goldie, I think we'd better get on to tonight's question. Okay. Who do you want to talk to first, me or my plant? <laughs> well, I don't really know which would be more productive. Uh, I think I'll start with, uh, I'll start with you. Okay, groovy. Okay. Sure. Now, what do you think of the administration's war on poverty? Is there another war? No, it's, it's not a real war. Oh, yeah, I dig, uh -huh, like Vietnam. No. <laughs> Goldie, Goldie, this war is one to eliminate poverty from this country. Eliminate poverty? Wow. Why don't we eliminate money? El eliminate money? Yeah, man, money's a hang-up. You know, where I hang, we just don't need it. You dig? Like, if you want something, you trade for it. For instance, like, if I want a banana, I trade an orange for it, you dig? If I want a book, I trade a record for it. I mean, wow, we just don't need money. Well, what if you wanted a brand new dress and you had nothing to trade for it? Uh, wow, then I'd use my diner's card. My daddy's loaded. <laughs> yeah, just like me. <laughs> Thank you and good night, folks. Uh, now we'd like to change the pace a little bit and uh, visit one of the dedicated government employees who administer the poverty program at the local level. A courageous social worker assigned to a neighborhood with some of the roughest teenage gangs in the entire country. I, I a Mr. Gerald Portner. If you'll just uh, drop in Mr. Later. Portner. And, well, <laughs> Mr. Portner. Just wait. Mr. Portner. Oh, oh, how did you get in? <laughs> But uh, all I have left is, is my lunch. It's in the bottom drawer. I think you'll no, like it. No, no. I'm with the Smothers Brothers. Smothers Brothers? Is that another new gang in the block? <laughs> no, don't worry, Mr. Portner. We're just taking a poll, and I'd like to ask you a few questions about the government's poverty program. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I, th I, I think it's, it's, it's one of the greatest, the greatest things going. You know, poverty is, is one of the major problems, uh, the causes of uh, teenage delinquency. I work with delinquents, you know. Mm -hmm. It must be a very interesting and rewarding experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> rewarding, rewarding and exciting. You know, it takes a special person to deal with these kids. Uh, you have to know how to talk with them, reason with them. You have to, to, to speak on their own level, as it were. That's what I do. I have a... I have a direct dialogue with them. What do you say? Don't hit. Not in the face. Don't hit. <laughs> now, come on. Do they actually hit? I mean, they, they, they sound like really bad boys. No, 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 no. There's no such thing as a bad boy. There is only a good boy. Yes. <laughs> there are only bad rocks. <laughs> you know, the other day, I thought perhaps they'd accept me better if I, if I became one of them, as it were. So I, I got myself a mm, 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 black leather boots and, and a little switchblade <laughs> and a leather jacket that said sharks on the back of it. And... Well, did they accept you? Oh, yes, yes. But I got beat up by a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Portner, uh, critics of the program maintain that the money is not reaching the people. Not true, not true. That money is getting to, to the people. Well, how do they get it? They come in at night and steal it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Gerald. Well, oh, time for arts and crafts. <laughs> and, uh, and now for another point of view from uh, uh, on the poverty program, let's hear from this next gentleman. Excuse me, sir. I'm uh, with the Smothers Poll. May I ask you your name? Ah, oh, certainly. My name is George Wallace. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Not the one in politics. I'm the other one. They always get us confused. <laughs> <laughs> 
I could understand that. Now, I hope I'm not interrupting you. Oh, no, no, no. I was just sitting here uh, reading the want ads. Looking for a job? Oh, no, no, no. No, I, uh, you know, in our neighborhood, we sort of consider the want ads, uh, you know, the colored funnies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite understand. You don't understand? No, no, I don't. Oh, well, like, uh, this will help you understand. Uh, look at this. Uh, wanted. Bank executive. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Uh, must have degree from Yale, Harvard, or Cambridge. No experience necessary. We are a equal opportunity employer. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Now, you can't tell me that's not funnier than peanuts. <laughs> well, certainly there must be some jobs that are more realistic than that. Oh, sure. Let's see. Um, here's one. Uh, wanted. Grave digger. Must have strong back and weak mind. May live in. <laughs> hey, you know, you know, you know, I'm really not even looking for a job like this. Actually, I'd like to be doing what my cousin's doing. Well, what does your cousin do? Well, he just got elected mayor. You know, if I could just find me a town. Uh, yeah, well, I think we... I think we better get along with the poll there, Mr. Uh, Wallace. Now, what do you think of the government's war to eliminate all poverty? They gonna take that away from us, too? <laughs> You know, if they take poverty away, that's all we got. You know, if they take that away, we won't have nothing. You know, you know, wait, Smothers is your name, right, Smothers? Yes, Mr. Yeah, Paul. you know, it's getting rough out there. Mm -hmm. Now, look, I got no job, no credit, no education. I don't, I don't have a chance. Well, well, don't, don't get excited or, or you know, well, perhaps just the situation's bad where you live now. Do you, do you think yeah, of that? that? But I understand the opportunities are much better up north. Up north? Man, I'm in Alaska. <laughs> hey, 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 look at this, look at this. Wanted, shoe shine executive. Hey, I like that. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> well, well, that concludes, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the Smothers poll for tonight. But be on your guard. Remember, we may be visiting you next. that beckons comes from Purina. The tastes that cats like best. Milk, meat, chicken, and fish all blended into one completely nourishing cat food. Purina Cat Chow. For cats who love flavor, for people who love cats. And when your cat craves a change of pace, Purina's ready with senip dinner, gravy dinner, and dairy dinner. Each one savory, convenient, completely nourishing. Purina, for cats who love flavor, for people who love cats. We'd, uh, we'd like to sing a song for you right now that we've had a lot of requests for. It's a very uh, pretty song, one of the prettiest ever written. That's right. Stop the music. Stop the music. What's the matter, Jimmy? With all due respect to you boys playing those instruments, it sounds kind of empty. What you need is a piano. A piano? Bring in that piano! Oh, no. Bring it in! But we never use a piano. We don't use a piano. Listen. You don't use a piano? We no, we don't, we don't ever use piano. All right, give yourself a chance to hear it with a piano. But we've, we've done all right with a bass and a guitar. Or a yeah, band. you did all right, but I'm doing all right much. <laughs> they wait for me. Uh, Jimmy, we just don't need a piano. You don't need a piano? Well, listen to this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, stop the music! 
<laughs> you know, this kid may be stupid, but I like the way he talks. Jimmy, I, I, I don't want you to take this person. We have nothing against the way that you play the piano, you know, but do you play as good as, as uh, Van Cliver? I am Van Cliver. Do I play as good as Van? I'm yes. even better. Listen to this. Just as I thought, a Miss Prince. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, you're sensational. Now what are we waiting for? Let's go. Cause it's a thrill. It's a thrill. When, when the real piano player sits down at the key, it makes me weak in the knees when he goes. never was like this. Listen to this. That ain't chop liver. Listen to that tyrant. Now this is very tyrant. I play with all my mind. Here's a dollar, kid. Don't stop playing. Play all night. Cause it's a drill. Show no mercy. <laughs> Jimmy, do you know everywhere you go? Everywhere you go? Yeah. Here it is. Uh, everywhere you go, sunshine will follow me. Everywhere you go, skies are blue. Children love you, seem to know. Sing it. You bring roses out Sing of the snow. It. The whole, the whole world says hello. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Sunshine. can hear too. <laughs> <laughs> As I approach the plan of my life, I find I have the time of my life. Learning to enjoy at my leisure all the simple pleasures, and so I happily conceive this is all I ask. This is all I knew. Beautiful girl, walk a little slower when you walk by me. Lingering sunsets stay a little longer with the lonely sea. Children everywhere 
when you shoot at bad men shoot at me take me to that strange enchanted land grown-ups seldom understand wandering rainbow leave a bit of color for my heart to hold stars in the sky make my wish come true before the night is flown and let the music play and spot as there's a song to sing and I will stay younger than spring proposition for you. How'd you like some new outdoor furniture? Watches? Linens? Let me sweeten the deal. How about cash instead? Or maybe add to your trading stamps. Just save the gift star coupons on old gold filters. That's a pretty good proposition. All this and the best taste yet in a filter cigarette. Old gold filters. Best cigarette that ever came with a coupon. Best coupon that ever came with a cigarette. Hi. I suppose a lot of you would think it would be fun to have our, your own television show every week. I mean, you get to meet some of the most beautiful women in the world. Unfortunately, that's about as far as it goes. <laughs> I may never have the opportunity or chance to become a great lover, but as a meter, I'm a gas. <laughs> Put yourselves together. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's Miss Nancy Ames, and she's doing a traditional song version of One Ton of Matter. Miss Nancy Ames. One ton of matter. Wahida, one ton of matter. One ton of matter. Wahida, one él es un hombre sincero de donde crece la palma él es un hombre sincero de donde crece de un 
That was great, Nancy. My brother and my myself, we admire her very much as a singer, and I personally admire her as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Tommy. <laughs> this is the first time Nancy's been on our show, but actually she's been part of the show from the very beginning, because she and Mason Williams, one of the writers on our show, wrote the theme song for the show, The Brothers Theme. And, you know, dun 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 Well, she and Mason wrote that. We'll be indebted to that. Uh, why don't you briefly say how it happened? Well, Mason and I were uh, rehearsing another song that we had written, and Mason made a mistake on the guitar, so we wrote the theme based on that mistake. Based on, you mean the song was based on a mistake? Yes, just like the Smothers Brothers. <laughs> That's how we knew it was right. Yeah. Well, I guess everything, I guess I'm glad that we make mistakes because if I didn't make mistakes, it would probably be through. But it's kind of weird to think that your whole career depends on making mistakes. <laughs> you could have been a great politician. I don't make that many mistakes. <laughs> Tommy, I think you make the loveliest mistakes in the world. Thank you. Let's introduce Mason and bring him out here. The other half of this fantastic writing team and team, uh, Mr. Mason Williams. Let's yes. Mason has been with Dick and myself now for about three years, and he started off playing guitar on the road with us. That's right, right but uh, I was almost hit several times, and uh, they finally let me play on stage with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want us to sing the, sing the uh, theme song now? You said thing. Thing the theme song. She said thing the theme song. <laughs> she thought she's going to get away with it. I learned she... it from you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't want to hear the theme because I'm sick of it. <laughs> I hear it day in, day out, all the time. I'd like you to sing the song that the mistake was made in that prompted the creation of the, the theme. All, all right. right. And it's called what? Cinderella, Cinderella Rockefeller. Rockefeller. And this is by Mason. Mason and Nancy wrote this song also. Thanks, Tom. Hit it, Nelson! <laughs> I'm the lady. 
something you've never seen on television before. Watch. That's a new stainless steel blade there. Clean, close, take a good look. Now, this new Norelco triple header. Three micro-groove floating heads. 18 rotary blades. Fastest shaver on wheels. The most comfortable, too. And close. Well, just keep watching. Now, can you tell where the razor shave ended and the Norelco triple header shave began? You can't even feel it or see it, can you? The Norelco triple header with a pop-up trimmer shaves so close, we dare to match shaves with a blade. And now the triple header comes in a rechargeable model with more shaving features than any other shaver. Delivers twice as many shaves per charge as any rechargeable on the market. like Liberace and these guys are waiting for the Robert E. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, be seated. <laughs> what have we got here, a deaf minstrel? I said be seated. I said what you heard. And I, Wait, what? I said what you heard and I'm not going to be seated because I want to be an in-man. Hey, and I don't stupid. We already got two in men. You cannot be an in man. Well, I'm not staying here. You're not being my in man. Yeah, and you can't have my end either, you hamburger. <laughs> hold it, hold it. We ain't even started, and already we got an insurrection, a mutiny. All right. You with the big ears, that's a compliment. As an interlocutor. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> As the interlocutor, I grant you permission to replace the end man on my left, which conversely is the end man to your right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now take your place. Take your place. How do you like that? All they had to do was change places. We didn't need all this tape chicory. <laughs> Mr. Interlocutor. Yes, Mr. Bones. Where does a 900-pound gorilla sleep? I really don't know. Uh, where does a 900-pound gorilla sleep? Anywhere he wants. <laughs> I, I, I got Sit one. Down. Mr. Interlocutor. <laughs> Mr. Interlocutor. Yes, Mr. Bones. Why does a chicken cross the border? I don't know. Why does a chicken cross the border? To beat the draft. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> Mr. No Locator. in English. Shut up. <laughs> Mr. Locator, can I ask my riddle? Yes, Mr. Bones. What, did, what looks vicious crawls in the sand and has a red face? I don't know. What is it that uh, looks vicious crawls in the sand and has a red face? <laughs> the Egyptian army. <laughs> hey, how come you don't let me do one? Because... You haven't addressed me by my title. Oh, okay. I've got one, Mr. Incarcerator. <laughs> I believe you misconstrued a syllable. <laughs> but, uh, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna get a chuckle out of this. <laughs> what is it that sleeps by day, stays awake at night, has three green chins, um, and whistles a lot and eats clover? Okay. Was it that sleeps at night, stays awake at night, has three chins, whistles a lot of needs in a cold? <laughs> and also has uh, beady eyes, howls when it's angry, <laughs> and has a thick, horny skin. <laughs> oh, my leg. <laughs> okay. What is it that sleeps per day, stays awake at night, whistles a lot, eats clover, has beady eyes, howls when it's angry? Is there more yet? <laughs> and a thick, horny skin. Well, what is it? I said, what is it? I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. After going through all that, you don't know. Well, why, why don't you give me a hint? Maybe I'll get it. <laughs> I'm looking for a hint myself. <laughs> Listen, you don't know what you're talking about. You mean to tell me that you can't answer your own riddle? It's a tough one, isn't it? <laughs> this kid is driving me nuts. Listen, if you can't... <laughs> if you can't answer your own riddle, what are you doing here? I'm the world's greatest banjo player. Oh, you are? That's different. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the world's greatest bench, no, the world's greatest jazz banjo player, Mr. Thomas Smuttis. I'd like to do a medley of numbers for you featuring my nimble fingers as they move across the crease, please, lightning fast and like quicksilver. I'd like to do first the exciting song entitled Whispering, a jazz classic. After Whispering, I'd like to go into the exciting song Nola. Nola is very difficult, so I'd like to do this as a medley. First Whispering in jazz style with the variations on the theme, and then go right lunch, right into Nola, right together as a jazz medley for you. Here goes. Just a minute. You're making a federal case out of this. Get to the finish so we all get our checks. <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> Whispering and then right in a Nola in a fantastic jazz, jazz rendition. One, two, three, four, five.
to music depreciation. <laughs> now listen, you do what I tell you now. You go back to where you were originally and you stay put. Ridiculous to the sublime. Honey, I want you to come to the center of the stage. <laughs> and now here she is, our little magnolia blossom, who will raise her lovely voice in melodic. I'll give you the best. Huh? <laughs> I'll give you the best. In melodic. Uh, Melophilia's song. <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Nancy. <clears throat> there are many men I've known all around the world. But of all the men I've known, you set my heart a whirl. got a right to your own opinion. In every way you're cute. She must have seen me in a bikini on Muscle Beach. Those big blue eyes, that turned up nose, that cool and carefree pose. I mean, I like your style. Well, a quality one is born with. Your every mood Easy, easy Your attitude You know, somewhere, someplace There must be a man more handsomer than I am But if there is, he'll never get on this show <laughs> Just add up to your It's a Christmas fiesta at Singer, the happiest place to shop for all your gifts. Give her the golden touch and sew machine with the push button bobbin and solid state control. One of five touch and sew models from $149.95. See all the Singer sewing machines, cabinets, and portables from $69.95. Even this mini machine for your mini sewer, only $16.95. And there's more, colorful Singer fabrics and notions. TV sets, typewriters, stereo, and look, a battery-powered portable phonograph, only $19.95. Powerful Singer vacuum cleaners, too. Yes, shopping is a Christmas fiesta at your Singer Center right now. What's new for tomorrow is at Singer today.
Thank you very much. We're in a little bit of a hurry tonight, so we'd like to thank very quickly our guests for tonight. They did a great job. Jimmy Durani, Nancy Ames, and of course, Janice, Janice Ian. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> our next show, which will be two weeks from tonight, because of next week, at the same time, will be the Ernie Ford special, so be sure to watch that. And the following week, we'll be back with Agnes Moorhead, Norm Crosby, and the Hollies. So good night. Thank you very much. Good, good night, night, everybody. Also appearing on tonight's show were Lee Flesh, Gino Conforti, and Story Mitchell. And this is Roger Carroll. Not long ago, 